not in America. Australia wrestles with the challenge of funding old age pensions amidst crippling debt. Welcome to the Industry Leader Update brought to you by Reverse Focus. I'm Shannon Hicks. Both the United States and Australia face the same challenge of funding payments to aging pensioners or seniors. And that's where the similarities stop. According to a recent article in the Daily Reckoning, Australia is facing a demographic bomb of sorts, not unlike the U.S., with more than half of Australians projected to reach the age of 50 or older by 2050. Today, the Australian government spends $42 billion on the cost of aged care, which is expected to balloon to $160 billion by mid-century. Mathematically astonishing, economically unfeasible. Now, timing is everything when it comes to spending the political capital needed to make hard choices. By 2055, pension reform down under may be impossible due to the fact that more than half of the electorate will be receiving their pensions by then. After all, who wants to vote for their own pay cut? Much like the U.S., Australia has kicked the proverbial can down the road when it comes to pension reform. That is changing. Recently, the idea was floated to reform the country's existing reverse mortgage program. Yes, existing. Such a move would unlock an estimated $625 billion in home equity, and the government is considering including the family home in the asset test prior to determining one's pension payment from the government. Imagine such a move here in the U.S. Have a home worth $700,000 that's nearly paid off? Great. You have the choice of tapping into your home equity as part of your Social Security, or you face a dramatic decrease in monthly benefits. Imagine the same scenario for Medicaid or SSI. An economic necessity? Perhaps. A future reality? Highly unlikely. American politicians have long referred to Social Security as the third rail of politics. Touch it and you're politically dead. After all, who wants to run on a platform of cutting benefits to seniors? Unfortunately, political pragmatism has left us with an unsustainable system and politicians unwilling to make the hard choices. Today, pension payouts in Australia are determined in part by the seniors' income or assets. Presently, a government-issued pension loan scheme functions much like a reverse mortgage for those who are not entitled to a maximum pension payout or don't qualify for any payout based on their income or assets. In such cases, the so-called wealthy can qualify for benefits by leveraging their home using the pension loan scheme, borrowing up to 45% of a home's value. A new proposal aims to increase that ratio to 80%. While the U.S. government seems content to deny the inevitable, our friends down under are mustering the courage to face the challenge. Now, what are your thoughts? Should home equity here in the United States be considered before determining Social Security or other old age benefits? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and have a great week.